guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the news video for May of 2021, and we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, hopefully this video will go up like the other one did. Uh, sadly, that one video I was working on, I'll probably just have to completely redo. But in the meantime, this is what we're going to be doing, and let's get into it. So we're going to start off like we always do with Gumpla News. And uh, there's not as much Gumpla news uh, for this month, rather it be releases for this month or news for future releases. There just really wasn't that much stuff to go over. So we're going to start off with the uh, High Grade Gundam Death Scythe. Become, it's already out. It came out on May 22nd. It's 1,650 yen, so it's not too expensive. And it looks really good. I mean, the Death Scythe was always one of the coolest looking suits in the uh, Gundam Wing anime. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the show, but I did like a lot of its suit designs. Uh, and an SD uh, World Heroes, uh, Edward II V. I think it's supposed to be the Victory Gundam. Uh, comes out May 22nd, so it's already out. Uh, 660 yen. It's an SD, so that's not too surprising. About six bucks. Not, not too expensive. Another SD World Heroes, Benjamin V2 Gundam, and this is why I think it's the Victory, because it's V2, which is usually referred to as Victory Gundam 2, or the second Victory Gundam that pops up later in the show. Uh, and this is a probably basically an SD version based off of that suit. Uh, also came out May 22nd, but it's 770 yen, so he's a little bit more expensive, but not by much. And then we have the entry grade RX-78-2 Gundam is going to be coming out on the 29th of this month at 770 yen. Um, pretty interesting that he's 770 yen, so he's about the same price as an SD. But that's the whole point of entry grade is to try and be a cheap entry price for people who want to do more proportionate models early so instead of doing sds you start off with entry grades which are supposed to be the starter kit for you know beginners because high grades can be a bit intimidating for some people even though they're, they're like they're still starter kits they're the highest quality starter kit so it makes sense that they're trying to basically bring back an entry grade now I know that this kit has already come out before, but the previous version, Bandai classifies as the light package version. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's like a different packaging or it's like has less stuff in the packaging itself. But this is supposed to be like the complete version of that kit from what I understand. But that's basically all I know. Now we're going to move on to the special event kits because that's all the standard releases that I found on Gundam Info. And remember, all this information is coming from Gundam Info. So if there's anything I've missed, it's because I haven't gone to any other site, just Gundam Info. So if there's any place you want me to go to get more information for my news videos, leave it in the comments and I'll go there in a, in, a, in a future video and see if there's any more information that I can use. Alright, so the special kits that are coming out, uh, that are actually already out this month, they both came out on uh, May 1st, because they're special events that are taking place in uh, one of the Tokyo, the Tokyo bases in Japan, or the Gundam bases in Japan, my bad. And, uh, you know, they're just going to be special event versions. So, the first one is the uh, Master Grade 00 Riser Clear Color Version, uh, 8,800 yen, so somewhere around the $80 range. Um, not too bad for like a special event Master Grade, and it looks really cool, but it's a Master Grade, so it's always going to look good. And of course, it's clear, so it's got that really cool-looking, like, just see-through design and if you like that on your kits then it's a great way it's a great kit to pick up and uh, get the next one is the high grade gundam uh hazel one of the many different versions that's a part of the advance of zeta line this is called the flag of titans and it's the clear color version of that kit uh so it's 6490 yen um 
and it it looks okay. I don't know. I don't really care too much for this particular line because one, all the kits look the same. Like all the suits look almost almost the same, but they all have the same name. They're all Hazel, but yet they all are supposed to be different at the same time. And some are premium Bandai, some aren't, some are basically just accessories for other kids, but you buy them separately so you can't use them on their own. It's just really weird and it gets really complicated way too fast. So if you want to get into the Hazels, be my guest, but I'm just not really a big fan of it personally. And that's it. That's that's that, that's all the news there is this month for Gunpla when it comes to a what's on Gundam Info. So that's all I could figure out. And uh, that's really it. But what may surprise you is our next section. So our next section is going to be anime news. And there actually is something. Now there was some stuff last month, but I really didn't go over it because for one it was basically just talking about the releases of episodes for SD Gundam World, which is like, that's fine, but that's all I already told you when that was supposed to be coming out. So, it's kind of like, whatever. But, I should probably have gone, gone over it, but I didn't. And I'm sorry about that, I missed it. But, most of that is still what's going on today. You know, it was like, just, the episode 6 is coming out this month, or whatever. And that's really it. There's some small things that was uh, uh, mentioned on air about something that Tomino did, basically saying thank you for Japan, uh, Japan Day in New York earlier this month or something like that. Not really that big of a news because it has nothing to do with the anime itself, which is what I'm trying to find news on. And the only little bit of news I found on anime at all this month uh, really wasn't that great. So what I found out was that Gundam Hathaway, the movie coming out, is uh was pushed back from may 7th to may 21st but unfortunately it got pushed back again it will be announced later on on uh bandai or sunrise's official social media accounts when it will actually be coming out so it was supposed to come out this month but now we don't know when it's supposed to come out so it might be pushed back even further uh down the road like later this year or it might be sometime next month we won't know until they say something on their social media accounts so if you want to follow any of bandai social media accounts you should go ahead and do that um or sunrise of course because that's what they're going to announce it first and then that news will be spread to everywhere else over time but it's been pushed back so due to a state of emergency I don't know if that's because it was a state of emergency that happened in Japan that obviously I have no idea about. But if that's the case, I understand it kind of sucks, but you know they probably thought it would be better to do that. And it's probably going to stay pushed back until that state of emergency ends. And uh, but I don't know when that's going to be. So hopefully it's soon, but it could be a few months from now. So we'll have to wait and see. Now we're going to move on to video game news, which really, there ha there's no new post at all. The last post was from January, so still no video game news on Gundam stuff for May. So hopefully we'll have something in the next few months, but sadly, it doesn't seem like we're going to have anything soon at all. So that's what I've discovered. Um, hopefully you uh enjoyed the video and i uh, like to like it subscribe notification bell share the video comment do the whole shebang and i'll see you guys next time this is be yokai and i'm out of here see ya